Okay, 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 okay. It's Gertie Mack, and let's talk about Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. So, um, there's a lot of talk going around the whole media spectrum, sports commentators, everybody's talking about this WNBA Rookie of the Year. Who will it be? Now, both Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark are the front runners. There's no doubt about that at all, period. Now, both of them has been playing great, and both of them has been making history on their team. Angel Reese recently 13 straight double doubles, and I'm not talking about a Mac double. And then on uh, uh, Caitlin Clark, first on um, rookie in Indiana Fever franchise history, first to um get a triple double, and I ain't talking about a triple double cheeseburger, no ain't extra pickle. Um, they're both doing their thing. They got double doubles, triple doubles. They got it all. Just super size the combo. Um, fries, no salt. Um, but a lot of people are still going back and forth on who is going to get the edge and win this because both players are doing their thing. Now, some people feel like Angel Reese numbers is not better than Caden Clark because they feel like a lot of her double doubles come from getting rebounds, her own rebounds. But you can't deny neither one of them, no matter who gets it. Now, Rachel Nichols, she was on Undisputed. Uh, with um, Skip Bayless and Keyshawn Johnson. And she gave her um, her take on who she feels like is going to get the Rookie of the Year. Y'all check out what she had to say. To me, Caitlin Clark is the Rookie of the Year right now. She has impacted winning in a bigger way than anyone else in this rookie class. She leads all rookies in four or five of the stat categories. And her team is on pace to finish a lot better this year than it did last year, meaning she has impacted the overall state of the team, whereas Angel Reese's Sky right now are not on pace to improve. So I look at all of those things. All that being said, Angel Reese has been so impressive this year so far. Those double-doubles, we can't sleep on the record that she just set. First of all, anytime you pass Candace Parker in anything, that is an accomplishment, but also it's the fact that it was back-to-back. So th that consistency, that showing up for her team mm -hmm. is part of the reason that Angel Reese is a worthy candidate to talk about for Rookie of the Year. I would just pick Kate and Clark at this point. So Rachel Nichols said, you know, she basically gave props to both players, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Um, she said Caitlin Clark has impacted the team the most with winning and, and rookies in most categories with uh, accolades, numbers, and all of that. But she also acknowledged that Angel Reese has been consistent and also breaking Candace Parker record for double doubles. So if you ask me, they're going tit for tat. And whoever wins it, you know, congrats to whoever gets it. You know, Angel Reese deserves it. Caitlin Clark deserves it. They both deserve it. Wish it can be two two awards. Just give them both rookie of the year. Let it be a tie. Because even though, you know, Angel Reese is getting double doubles, but she is breaking records. Angel Reese may be, I mean, and Caden Clark may be getting triple doubles, but she is doing her thing. And then, I mean, now both of their team records, I don't know about that. Caden Clark having the most impact with winning. I mean, the team is what, 9 and 13? I mean, so the wins are coming in, but Chicago Sky, they're getting their wins too. So, I mean, both teams are kind of like right there neck and neck together. You know, Angel Reese, I feel like she's impacting her team. But I feel like the thing of why Caitlin Clark, people are saying that she should get it, is hand down popularity. Caitlin Clark impact for the WNBA ticket sales, selling out arenas, games being moved, moved to bigger arenas where the NBA players play. All that stuff is because of Caitlin Clark, hands down. I mean... That alone is the reason why I feel like a lot of people feel like she should get it because all the impact that she has brought with her to the WNBA, I feel like it's set up for her to also be the rookie of the year because it's obviously that she is the face of the WNBA right now as we speak. But y'all get in the comments, tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Holla.